Hey everybody, um, I thought I'd share with you something I did a few years back. Um, when I started switching over to a lot of the festival equipment, sustainers and everything, one of the things that I couldn't do was the air compressor. Um, it's not available in the United States um, and probably won't be. From my understanding, uh, there's problems with UL, won't approve it um, because of heat. Um, that is what I understand, whether it's true or not. Who knows? Uh, so I had a little small little just mini pancake compressor that if I was trimming a door or a window or something like that I just needed a single one. Didn't want to bring out, out the bigger compressor and it was unbelievably loud. It was a pain in the butt. It was really cheap when I bought it. It was like a $50 compressor but it was probably worth less than that. So, um, so one of the things I uh, decided to do, and I'd seen some people had also modified the compressor to go in a sustainer, and this is a sustainer 3, um, and they'd used the Senco compressor, but they had uh, kind of taken it all apart, put it on its side. I didn't really care for that all that well, so I did some measuring, and what I was able to do, we'll uh, bring in here, um, is I actually got it in, in the normal position, uh, let's bring the cable in front of the oven. So what I was able to do is modify the existing uh, com Senko compressor, and this is the small, uh, what it is a PC-101, excuse me, PC-101-0, let's try again. It's a PC-1010N compressor. Um, and it was really close to fitting in there, except it was a little bit long in this way. Otherwise, it would drop in there. What I've seen other people do is they've actually mounted it this way. It doesn't allow you to drain the, the, uh, air, ch uh, the air chambers when you do that. Um, and I just didn't really want to sit it in there. I'd rather have it sitting on the, its own base. So here's what I did. Um, I was able to unbolt the compressor from the uh, stand and just push it back. Now I didn't take anything apart. You gotta be really careful with these copper fittings. Uh, you can kink them and then you're kind of done. But I was able to move this one back in here. Let's see. Uh, the one coming off the compressor, it kind of loops around and comes back into the tank. Um, I was able to, by loosening it up, I was able to push it back far enough. And then what I did, is see it better on here. Here's where the original brackets bolted up. So I built just a couple, a couple pieces of uh, strap aluminum, bolted those on, and then bolted the, com the compressor to that. So it moved back about an inch, and that's all it really needed to get in there was that, that one inch. Um, so this is a nice little compressor, um, I use it for trimming uh, generally. I can get to everything, I've got a little coil, sharp hose on it. Um, the other thing I did, I've got a bunch of junk in the compressor here, um, is I actually put some of the foam lining on it just to help with some of the noise. Uh, some of the concerns has been whether it overheats. I've run this quite a bit and I've never had an issue with this thing overheating or getting warm inside that. Um, so, um, but, so it can just drop straight in. And then what I did is I brought, just did a couple holes on the sides um, to run the hook hoses out and the cords. This one comes up in here. That comes out and then what I end up doing, and I don't have my uh, little four-wheel cart for my sustainers, um, I'll drop this on there on the bottom and then I've got another SIS 3 that I put all my trim guns and stuff in and that'll run on here. Then I can just take this around to the job when I'm on the job site, roll around where I need to, work on a door or work on a window, whatever I'm working on at the time, and uh, just take it to me rather than dragging holes all over the place. Um, at the end of the day, 
pull the cord back in. Close it back up. Drain the compressor if it's needed. And away you go. Um, so this has been this has been great for me, especially putting it on the wheels and carrying it around rather than carrying it around job sites. Um, but I can grab it, go into the job site, and uh, so hope that's helpful. Um, see you next time. Thanks.